Hey everyone, it's Bud from the Future, back again. Without the beard, and you'll know because very soon you're going to see me back with the beard again. Just want to give you guys a quick little heads up on uh, last week's video, because I do Friday night videos, so every Friday night I, I post a new video. Uh, there was no video, because what happened was when I was editing the video that you're going to see, um, the computer just shut down. So I went to go ahead and reboot it back up again and it was trying to uh, reboot through the PXE and it was where it was originally uh, the operating system was set up at, at, the, at the manufacturers. So went back in, changed it back to the to the hard drive, it was H, I think it was HDD because it's an old unit um, and it was just dead. So I took it out, I ended up having to get a new computer. So I got the new computer, pulled the hard drive out with the hopes that I was going to be able to still pull something off of it, which of course, that was when I found out that it was dead. It was just, had this little clicky sound to it and nothing. So, so anyway, what that did is, uh, it solved two problems. First of all, the computer itself was almost six years old. Um, and the the video card was integrated, so there was nothing I could do with it. I was having problems when I was editing, it just wasn't fast enough. So, um, through a friend at work, um, put together a, pretty much a gaming computer. Um, this is expandable, so that way all my problems are gone. Now, what I did do was because I lost the hard drive, I lost everything that I used to put videos together, even lost some footage, uh, some, some videos that were going to be from last summer that were going to be sent out so that's all that's all gone so, and there's nothing I can do to really get that back um, I don't want to spend the money to have somebody go in to try to retrieve those files it's just we can redo the videos again um, so anyway what I did was I went from Serif 6 that's what I used to use for my video video editing program and because I've got a computer that's a heck of a lot faster than the old one I went to uh, DaVinci Resolve, and that's fabulous. It's a great program. There's a lot to learn. So this first video that you're seeing right now is the one uh, that I'm doing on DaVinci Resolve. Um, so I got to figure out how I can throw the bling in on the video. So this one's going to be just pretty much straightforward. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Uh, what we're going to start working on today is we're going to go back to the wing. We're going to be putting the servos into the little bays. And I've got, sorry about that, and I've got everything already prepped um, before I take the little plates off. And I'll show you on the GoPro. Um, but I kind of got everything prepped yesterday. And then... Uh, Spent the vast majority of the day uh, editing two videos for you guys. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy them. Um, but uh, today I had to go make a run up uh, north of the border. I had to jump over into Wisconsin. Had to go up to see Gino over at Trimcraft Aviation, which is other company, sister company, Trimcraft RC. I'll put the uh, the website address down in the description, um, just so you guys want to get some really good pricing on uh, RC hardware. You know, it's a good place to go to. So, anyway, I've been friends with Gino for probably about 10 years. So, uh, I had to head north uh, to go uh, take care of some business. Uh, so I figured, what the heck, an extra another half hour drive went up there to go see him to get some stuff. So here's kind of what I got. And yeah, it's a short little run. What it had been worth me driving all the way up there uh, for this one. I could have had him just send this down to me. Um, so, you know, it was just me just picking a couple little doodads from him. So, um, but uh, no, he sent stuff down to me in the past and it's just that, you know, I, I was out and about anyway. So anyway, I've got the, the smaller servo screws. There we go. Um, to get this set up, I, I need four, I wanted four of them for the for the for the the mounting plate, if you want to call it that, uh, and then uh, for the canopy, I got little number one uh, screws, and then that's just some more just to stock up on my regular servo screws for the bigger planes, because I'm all out of that stuff. So anyway, let me go ahead and head over this way to show you how we're gonna do this. What I did is I am going with the HS81, so I'll probably catch a little bit of grief still. 
um, that I didn't go with the uh, 85s. Um, but right now I'm just going to start with the 81s. If I'm not happy, I can always change out. So what I did is I came in and got this set up the way I wanted to. And then I, I put, some, uh, put some marks on it. And then somewhere around here, there was a little piece of wood I used. And I put the witness marks on it. And then I used that to transfer everything down to the other bay. So this is how it's going to get set up. I've got the little spots where I can come in and then glue in my blocks. I had to make sure I was going to have enough room to glue in the blocks and everything would go back in. So this leaves me just a little bit, not much. Uh, maybe 60,000 seven inch max. So these will get glued in and then the 81 will come in and get attached to that and then I can go ahead and rise back up in. Um, I put a basic little, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, it's a, it's a little teeny mark right down here and you might not be able to see it but this is where the output shaft gear is going to come out because when I get this all in place I'll put it in, I'll make some measurements, and then and I'll show you as, as I go through the process. And then uh, I'll mark off where I want to put the slit through for the, uh, for the horn to come through. Now, the horns that come with these, I wanted longer horns, servo horns, uh, because it's sitting proud, but it's going underneath, and then it's got a, I wanted enough clearance where I can get enough throw. This would have been the perfect size servo horn. Oops, this would have been the perfect size servo horn for this, but it's not made for a high tech. I have no idea. It's uh, it's a little China knockoff size. Um, so what I did is I went upstairs into my never ending stash of servo horns and I found some little black high techs. I wish I had another one down here, but it's a little black high-tech four-way so it kind of looks like sorry about that there's a four-way it looks just like this four-way but it's longer um, and you can see that I wanted to have a little bit more throw so this comes out that much farther so that was the uh, that was the decision I'd going with this so I just went ahead just cut them off and sanded them down you know they don't have to look pretty when they're up underneath the panel they just have to work so so I've got both of those things already set up for both sides. So let me go ahead and get things rolling. All right, I got the little nubs glued on and already drilled the holes through them. Um, and then I pretty much already gridded out where I want. This part here is gonna be removed a little in a little triangle, rectangle. Uh, and you can see the dots on the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to head on over here and what i've got is a number oh my gosh it's a 15 i think 15 wire size drill bit um because we're trying to drill out a slot that is uh, about 185 thousandths or about 4.6 or 4.7 millimeter team metric guys which means everybody else in the world all right so let's go ahead and we'll let this self-center it Drill through. We'll get this part done. drilled out the lines are just for guidance we're not looking for exactness that's why I got the little I've got the slots a little bit oversized but we'll go ahead and then we'll get these things cut out and then we'll put a servo in and then we'll see uh, see just how good they uh, sorry about that we'll see just how good everything rotates through and kind of let you guys watch this a little bit see if I can uh, not cut a slip through my leg here Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, it's just a rough cut through, and then I'll just come over here and I'll get my little wood files out and get these uh, all shaped up, and then I'll show you what they look like. All right, here they are. Ta-da, both of them. Now, what you may see, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, light ply, be very careful, even though, because I've had it happen in the past, I came in and wicked a little bit of thin CA right down inside to keep it from wanting to pop out, just hitting it with a round file. I was just going down, going through it, just kind of dressing it very slightly. And that's not a very aggressive round file. Uh, it popped off three pieces. I found two of them. Can't find a third one. So all I'll do is I'll just come on in and uh, fill it with some, you know, maybe Bondo. But it's, it's going to be some kind of filler. I'll fill it, sand it down. So when you cover it, you're not going to see it. So, but, uh, you know, still got to watch out. Light ply. All right, unfortunately, the black ones did not work. It ended up not being a high-tech uh, servo horn. It felt like it had a good fit to it, but when you got it to the end of the, of the rotation, it would just jump across different teeth. So I think it's got, it's, it, even though it felt like it was fitting pretty firm, it didn't have the same amount of teeth on it. So it kind of, when it jumped on there, it felt like it was a high-tech, uh, but it wasn't. So that's what you got to watch out for. <coughs> Anyway, these aren't as long as I want, but they may still work. I'll try them out just to see how much throw I can get on the uh, on the ailerons. But there we go. Goes all the way through, and uh, we've got very good alignment through the bottom of it. Let me rotate. There we go, right down the middle. So, uh, so very good. So uh, we'll have to get some electricity to these little buggers and see what uh, see what they can do. All right, everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today is officially the day after yesterday. If I look like I'm, my neck's a little bit sore, it's because it's a little bit sore. It's, uh, I rotated and I have no idea what pinched that nerve, but it feels wonderful. So it kind of kept me out of the shop for most of the day. So anyway, this was how, this was how the day ended yesterday, and it didn't end well. Um, you know that, I'm six foot five. You know that saying about guys with, you know, with big feet? Yeah, we have to have big shoes. So I, I dropped one of these things on the floor yesterday and I, I shattered it so I had to glue it back together again uh, as you can see stepping on it and it was be luckily luckily the servo wasn't in it the servo was out but I dropped it down and I went to rotate to grab it with these two things on and I've got that kind of sponge rubber flooring the foam um, it just shattered it it just came to pieces so I had to come in glue it back together again just so I had some little indicators on where to drill the corner holes so it's going to fit in. So this was probably, I don't know, total time half hour to make another one. So I figured I'd get that in there and then let's see how much, uh, how much I kind of really want to care to do today. Um, my next week's schedule at work has changed. I thought I was going to have a regular work week, but it's, I've got luckily, uh, New Year's Eve off. So I've got that day off. I got to work New Year's Day. Then I got Wednesday off, and then I graciously am getting shipped up to an RV show up in Milwaukee for you know Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that'll be a that'll be a joy, you know, being on vacation and not knowing that I'm being scheduled <laughs> to go work one of the shows. So got years of experience working shows, not for not for the RV community. I've done that for what two seasons now, um, but I used to be in the hobby industry years ago I mean we're talking you know 20 oh my gosh a long time ago 23 24 years ago my couple of years as a uh, product specialist not a product specialist a uh, oh my gosh I my title changed depending on uh, who I had to talk to it was pretty much a uh, uh, design production uh, I was I was with product design so I had to make new products and then with production that was working with the staff we had to make sure that the products got manufactured and out and it's it was a it was two years of learning a lot and liking that part of that job yeah, just unfortunately you know money so that, that got me into the sign business anyway uh, enough rambling about me let me uh, you know I mean I've got both of these set up they're good to go ready to put in I just have to decide because I want to see all this stuff work before I cover the plane. I mean, I want to make sure that if I've got to go in to do anything, it's before it gets covered. 
So I'm still kind of hemming and hawing on whether I want to pull my uh, servo extensions for the landing gear and for these things if I want to pull it through before I paint it. Um, I mean that's no biggie. I can do that. It's not. It's not that. It's just a matter of making sure that they are secured and they can't slide through. Because I've done it in the past. If I do it, it's going to be. Let me kind of show you real quick. I don't have the GoPro set up. Oh, and that's the other today's debacle. Um, I got that uh, Feiyu G6 gimbal to replace the. Uh, the the GoPro Karma, which was just a piece of junk, um, came in and everything was fantastic. Got it all hooked up. Uh, got it hooked up through the smartphone, um, so it worked out great. After about three minutes of use, it started twitching, and it was almost like the uh, the little stepper motors on the inside weren't communicating properly uh, with the uh, with the programming. So. Um, Needless to say, that you know, will be going back to uh, Amazon on Monday. But I've got them sending a, the same exact one into me. Um, I, I've I know people that have had the the Feiyu stuff before with the G4s and the G5s, and you know you're always going to get a bad batch. And of course, coming out of China, there is no such thing as uh, you know inspectors. <laughs> they, they just they throw it in a box and send it over. So anyway, that's pretty much about what uh, what's going on here. Um, yeah, so let me figure out how much more I want to work on this thing today, or if I just want to kind of you know just go upstairs and go back to doing what I wasn't doing prior in the day. So uh, if I get those things hooked up, I'll bring it back and let you know.